Hi, I am Andre. And I am a black nerd. Robot. Hi, I'm Andre. I'm a black nerd with another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles episode recap. Turtle power. Metalhead rewired. Metalhead's back, everybody. That crazy, weird, short little robot. I love that he's short. Metalhead has returned. Donatello has been working on him to improve his AI so he can help him out. Metalhead now knows how the foot soldiers fight. He knows how the crane fight. He knows how the turtles fight. And they're using this for practice. But of course, Leonardo just hates robots. And he just is worried that we're giving Metalhead too much intelligence. Leonardo is races against robots. He's a robotist. Dr. Robotist. But their training stops when they find out that Spider Bites is in the sewers. Remember Spider Bites from season one? He's still calling those turtles frogs. Which makes me wonder if they'll ever have the punk frogs. They should put the punk frogs on the show, have Spider Bites meet the punk frogs, and then Spider Bites would call the punk frogs turtles. Anytime you want to hire me to write Nickelodeon, I'm ready. But what was weird is that Spider Bites was actually asking for the turtles' help as opposed to fighting them because he was being chased by the Krang and the Krang had captured the Spider Bites. The turtles, of course, try to figure out what's going on. Don Donatello, of course, brings Metalhead along, which just makes Leonardo upset because he just doesn't trust him. Robotist. Dr. Robotist. And they eventually find Krang technology inside of a vending machine. Let's stop for a moment about this vending machine. So Michelangelo is trying to get a burrito out of there, a pizzerito. Not to be confused with the Nako from Kim Possible. Pause to read the types of potato chips that are also inside the vending machine. There was one called Salt and Sweat, Scabs and Sausage. And my personal favorite, there's literally was a bag in there called Menthol. Menthol potato chips. Add grape Kool-Aid flavoring to those menthol with potato chips and every black person in the world will buy it. That's racism. Metalhead puts himself inside of this Krang technology and starts acting weird, even locks the turtles up in the sewer. So of course the turtles are feeling like the Krang has controlled Metalhead. They figure out that the reason the Krang disappears so quickly all the time is because they have implanted portals throughout the city. And they're always hidden in strange places like porta potties, mailboxes. At first they were worried they were going to Dimension X, but they actually were just in the secret lair. And inside this lair are the Krang, as well as a bunch of mutants that we've seen from previous episodes. The Krang has apparently been running around capturing all of the mutants. We got spider bites, snake weed, slash, Kirby bat, squirrel noise, that weird mutant pigeon. And there was like a monkey. Did I miss an episode? Was there some doctor that they got turned into a monkey? Cause I didn't know about that one. And it reminded me of monkey shines. You know how I feel about monkey shines. See the last video if you don't know how I feel about monkey shines. And they see Metalhead who they think is helping out the Krang but actually he was able to use the Krang technology to figure out that the Krang had captured all these mutants and he was trying to let them free. The Krang put these control devices on spider bites and snake weed to try to make them fight the turtles. Turtles attack back because you can't stop the turtles. LTD like a turtle do. And because of Metalhead they were able to save all the mutants and so you got to see all these mutants fighting together which is really awesome. You're talking about the good turtles and the bad guys all working together. I wish they would have captured Razar and Fishface because I would love to see them be a part of this too. I love the episode when Baxter Stockman had captured the turtles and Dog Pound and Fishface and they had to work together. So it would have been nice to see them work together again for this. Almost like this camaraderie of we hate each other but we're mutants so we gotta stick together when everyone else tries to attack us. There was a great moment where Raphael was about to get attacked but then Slash came in and stopped him. As you know Slash is the mutant form of Spike, Raphael's former pet turtle. And you can see they still have that bonding there which I thought was really cool. I really hope there's an episode that comes up later on where Slash actually meets Casey Jones because Casey Jones Jones is gonna become good friends with Raph. And you saw how Slash was with the other Turtle Brothers. Imagine how he would be towards Casey Jones if he thinks that he's now taking the best friend role for Raphael that he once had. Make it happen. Make it happen. Metalhead opens a portal so all the mutants and the turtles can get out. Only problem is the only way to keep the portal open is Metalhead has to keep himself inside the technology, which means they have to leave Metalhead behind. Metalhead is captured by the crane, so the only way he can save himself is to self-destruct. So this is it, man. Metalhead's gone. <laughs> and the only thing that goes through the portal before it closes is Metalhead's metal head. I mean his head. That is... Don't be dirty. Robots don't have penises, or do they? From some ladies, I hear they sell them separately. That's pretty much it. Not much happened in this episode. Not a lot of progression, but it was really cool to see this all-out mutant fight. And I really love what this show has done with Metalhead. He was like in one episode in the 80s cartoon series. He was just basically a toy. It was a nice story arc for Metalhead, and I really appreciated that. Now I want to hear from you. What do you think of this episode? Are you going to miss Metalhead? And if you could give artificial intelligence to a robot, what would you want that robot to learn? You want to learn how to play video games with you? Learn how to make you the perfect meal? Learn how to love robot penis. I love you like a play cousin. I'm Addy 5000. Chain chomp. Yo. Toy monkeys, you know the ones that have that weird face and it just goes <laughs> and the whole commercial was just that. Just get close up on the face <laughs> and now I look forward to Ice Cream Kitty. That's what's coming up next week.